What excites me most about Oklahoma State's Fire Protection and Safety Engineering Technology Program is the history of the program. We've been here for over 80 years, the oldest fire protection school in North America. We have a great tradition. We bring a diversity of students, and most importantly, we put out high quality professionals that are able to work in a variety of fields and industries, uh, providing loss prevention services for all hazards. So today we're gonna to be testing the horizontal split case electric pump. And the fire safety and explosion protection program was established in 2017. The program is a natural extension of our undergraduate program. It was designed to prepare students for professional practice that may include research or con consulting. The program is the nation's only master program that focuses on both fire and explosion with a safety component. We have three distinct but interrelated programs here at Oklahoma State University. The first, our heritage program, is our fire protection and safety engineering technology program, which has been here since 1937. It deals with the technical aspect of fire safety and industrial safety. Our graduate program in fire and emergency management administration really brings in the social science, uh, looking at culture and uh, social issues. It also brings in public administration into this systems approach to risk management. And finally, our fire safety and explosion prevention program takes the technology to the next level uh, to administrators that are responsible for uh, fire safety and explosion prevention in large plants. Again, taking a systems approach to risk management. The undergraduate experience for our students in the fire protection and safety engineering technology program starts with their first semester here. They will take a class uh, in our program uh, that introduces them to fire and safety hazards. From there, every semester, we put them in a class that continues to expand their knowledge. And it's important for us that they have hands-on learning as well as theoretical and academic learning. I think our students really do enjoy our laboratory activities particularly their senior year. Uh, we start to pull everything together into some cumulative capstone style courses. Uh, one of those is full hazardous materials response. Uh, they get to put on level A suits and SCBAs and get out there and see what it's like to actually do uh, full you know, emergency response for a chemical spill. Uh, we also do a lot of industry tours. They get to go out and see other industry professionals, how they do their jobs, get to see manufacturing process and we get a lot of feedback from our students that those industry experiences and interactions are invaluable as they transition to internships and into the workforce. Students can actually, they can complete the degree either online or on campus. And we currently have about uh, over 25 students uh, with different backgrounds. Some are from, with a degree in mechanical engineering, some are actually in chemical engineering or safety engineering. So um, when I talk to most of them, and it seems all of them are um, liking or enjoying the, the class so far for the new program. Uh, they're also doing a lot of pride research. Um, for example, they're doing uh, something on profile modeling, uh, dust explosion, and fire testing using the cone kettle remit. Recently, the three main fire programs here at Oklahoma State were able to participate in a study abroad program at, in South Africa. And our students, while we were there, we visited several universities. We also did some work with their informal settlements and looking at their fire problem and really seeing another perspective from a different worldview uh, and participating with those universities in burn tests and working with different workshops. So it was really an exciting experience for our students to see. Our focus was really on the international dimensions of emergency management, but in South Africa that um, intersects with fire management in both vulnerable populations and also in the wildlands um, where fire is a, is a very big problem. And uh, I think it was a good opportunity to really intersect the social aspects as well as the technical aspects of both fire administration and emergency management. Our students, um, they were involved in a shack burn so it was the largest shack burn in uh, the world. There were 12 shacks and essentially they were hooked up to a lot of wires. They were set on fire so that we could understand the patterns of how the fire spread between the shacks, which is, um, it's important. There are uh, roughly 
a, a billion people in the world who live in uh, vulnerable communities and in informal settlements, and so it was important research to be involved in. I think the future for the fire programs here at OSU are is absolutely bright. We have these three strong programs, an undergraduate and two graduate programs um, that are all really going to be working well together. There's a lot of synergy. Um, we're taking that technical aspect and also the social science aspect, the cultural aspect, and being able to work together to solve fire problems or uh, emergency response problems and, and looking at it from both the social side and the technical side. So we're going to be able to grow together and provide a full service to, um, to the world. Over this 80 years, uh, we've been called uh, the West Point of the Fire Service, we've been called a national treasure, and uh, it really is, is fantastic to be a part of this program and see where it's going and where it's going to be when it reaches its 100th anniversary.